Kingdom Blessings, I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? It's time for Moed Shorada, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the Word of God. The word of the Lord is coming from Psalm 119. Yes, we are continuing our study here in Psalm 119. And we're going to pick it up at verses 55 and 56, reading from the Life Application Study Bible. But as before, I want to repeat it again. I want you to go back to the previous Moet Shara, because we started at verse 1. So we are now at verse 55 and 56. So go so that you can get the entire scope of what this psalm entails. It says, I reflect at night on who you are, O Lord, and I obey your law because of this. This is my happy way of life, obeying your commandments. Hallelujah. Let me read that again. I reflect at night on who you are, O Lord, and I obey your law because of this. This is my happy way of life, obeying your commandments. My dearly beloveds, my dear sons and daughters, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I love this part where it says that he meditates, he thinks about the Lord because of who he is. He says, I reflect at night on who you are, O Lord, and I obey your law because of this, because I know who God is. I obey your law because God is not man. He can't lie. His word is true. Because I know who he is, I obey his law. I think about him at night. I think about who he is. I think, I reflect, I meditate at night on who you are, O Lord. And I, and I obey your law because of this. Because of what? Because I know who God is. I know that God is not going to change on me. I know God that whatever he said he's going to do. And this is my happy way of life. Because I know who God is, that's why I can have a happy life. Obeying his commandments. Because I know that if I obey his will, his commandments, and I walk in his precepts, that my reward is coming. But not only that, I think and reflect on who he is. And because of all that he's done... I want to walk in his precepts and his commandments because I want to please him because he's been good in my life. How about you? Will you reflect on who God is? Hallelujah. When I think about all that he's done in my life, oh my goodness, I can't even begin to tell you. But when I reflect on who he is, this is my happy way of life. Other people want all other things, but give me Jesus. That is my choice. That is my final answer. No compromise. Jesus is mine. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the mighty master's name of Jesus, we just come before you thanking you, praising you, glorifying you, reflecting on who you are, gives us joy. 
gives us joy and peace because you are Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. You are Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over us. You are Jehovah Gabor, the Lord that fights for us. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Gabor. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God that is our healer. You are El Shaddai, the self-sufficient God. You are Elohim, the creative God. You are the great I am that I am. You are the Alpha and Omega. And when we reflect on who you are, God, we are so happy to obey your commandments, to walk and observe your laws. Daddy, we love you. So glad that we know who you are and that we belong to you. We crown you today as king of our lives. We surrender our everything to you. And because you are our king, we are your domain. Hallelujah. And you take good care of us. You are a good, good father and a good, good shepherd. Father, we love you. We love you. This is our happy way of life. We take joy in serving you. We take joy in loving you, in worshiping you, in honoring you. We take joy in this happy way of living. We know that everyone doesn't understand. But Father, we ask that the Holy Spirit would give us the words to explain the reason of our hope, the reason of our joy. Lead us and guide us, Holy Spirit, into all truth. Give us the words to say, manifest the light of God in our lives that we will shine everywhere we go. Because God, you are our king. We are the kingdom of God and we bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere we go, pushing back the darkness, advancing the kingdom of God. God, we love you and we bless you. Forgive us of any wrong deed. Forgive us, Lord, of any wrong attitude. Purge us with his and wash us in your blood. Father, we can do nothing without you. We need you. We need you, Father. Search our hearts, our minds, our motives, and forgive us, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Let there be no unforgiveness in our heart. Let there be no rebellion. Let there be no resentment, no hatred, Father. But we want to reflect you. You are a consuming fire. Consume us. Refine us. Burn us up until you see your reflection, Lord. Help us. Help us, Father. Help us, Lord, to walk in the spirit. That we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh thereof. Help us, Lord, to constantly hide your word in our hearts that we will not sin against you. Father, we're asking you, Holy Spirit, help us. Lead us and guide us. We love you and we bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, beloved, this is my happy way of life. When I reflect on who the Lord is, I obey his commandments because of this. Hallelujah. Well, this has been Moet Shalraga, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray that you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. And I want to again remind you, I'm so excited. Worshippers Refreshing 2022 will be here at the end of the week. Oh my goodness. And the Lord is going to meet us there. I'm decreeing it. I'm declaring it. I'm believing it. And I want you not to miss this move of God. I want to invite you to Black Rock Retreat in a Center in Quarraville, Pennsylvania. The rooms are sold out, but there are hotels in the vicinity. You can come and be our day guest. Now you have to register, but make sure you don't miss this move of God. And if you can't come, you can bless someone else. You can give an offering or give a, a um, contribution on the website. But whatever you do, I want you to constantly seek the face of God because this is the time that God is calling for his people to be refreshed. So we're going to get away with God this weekend, the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th of June at Black Rock Retreat. On Friday, T. Jason Price 
will be with us from Power for Freedom Ministries. On Saturday, we have Apostle Sharon Lincoln from the Well Worship Center. And we have Lady Fee, hallelujah, that's gonna help us to release some anxiety, to just release and laugh and enjoy the presence of the Lord. We're gonna have a worship jam and a worship release. And then on Sunday, yours truly will be culminating the entire event. Listen, God has been working on this for some time now and it's finally coming into fruition and I am excited. So I'm looking to see you there. Come on and join us at the Worshippers Refreshing 2022, June 24th, 25th, and 26th. You could go to the website and get all the information, www.www.ministries.com. Hope to see you there. Shalom.